Hello humans, Master Darren Flex here, and today I'm going to be showing you a super terrible deck. Um, you're going to see Luna Lights, aka furry kitties, but uh, it's not really that. I mean, it is, but it isn't, and it won't be, because it is, and you ain't. Alright, so let's get into this. Um, if you read the title of this video, you're going to know where this is going pretty quickly. Um, I've been testing it, I think... I uh, played this once on stream before, uh, but here we go. Blue Cat, pretty much the core of the deck. Um, when it dies, you get another one, and it doesn't, if it's destroyed, period, it doesn't have to go to the graveyard. Um, when it's destroyed, period, get another one, and it doesn't just have to get another one. You can also just get any Luna Light, but you're going to go this this, this, and if somehow they have so established, you just get another one. And then you can, like, make XZs with all the ones you set up in the graveyard. And I'm going to show you how. Because you play three of the littler kitty. Um, so this is the engine of the deck. Um, what happens here is you just play an ass load of traps and you set this. So when this dies, you get another one, and when it dies, you get the third one. It's usually hard for them to kill so many of them, but you have that trap. Um, I only have one copy, but I'll be playing more, and you have ten keys. So you're going to be searching these, and you're going to be floating into them. Once you get them, you're going to set them as your scales, and you're going to grab however many you want for an XZ, and then you're going to make an XZ, and then next turn you do it again. And even if they want to MST this, then you just get one out of your grave anyways. Very, very good. Very strong. Um, like I said earlier, um, you play so many traps that you can just defend this semi-slow strategy. Uh, but while this strategy is very slow, it's very effective, and it very it, it's complemented so much by traps... Um, I thought about playing a skill drain in here too, but uh, this is testing. This deck isn't even done yet. I just built it on the spot because someone requested it. Um, one white rabbit. Um, when you normal summon it, you pretty much just want to get this one out or the next one coming up. Because if you have this and two of these engraved, you can normal summon this, get this. Uh, make this 16 or however many the 10 keys will add, then get that. Um, XZ, um, while you have this, like, you don't have Dire Wolves, but you normally play two Dire Wolves, and Dire Wolf can destroy this, uh, and have another Dire Wolf effect for next turn. Very, very good. Uh, one Black Sheep. You, sometimes you do need to search Polymerization, because you... There are more fusion options, just not in this beta version. Um, but also, if you use it for a fusion summon, you could recover stuff from your extra deck, which is actually pretty impactful, because uh, once you lose the tigers, you actually just start losing. Like there's, It's very difficult to recover the tigers, so having a way to recover it is very, very good. So I have it. Wolf... Um, just make a free fusion, uh, if, like, the tigers, I mean, if the blue cat, if you're on your last blue cat and you need something that'll actually stay up, you can get into this and crash over there, whatever we need, we need Hut Jr. thing, um, that's pretty much it for that. That's it for the Luna Lights, like, nine. So, for the rest of the stun monsters, uh... The best card in Yu-Gi-Oh. Thunder King. Works just like a Doom Cal Knight, except they also can't search. Um, and then Dark Arm Dragon. Uh, I added this because you do have a lot of graveyard manipulation. I've been testing it out, and I've never drawn it yet. So I don't know how good or bad it will be, but um, it, will, it seems good in theory, and I want to test it before I just say no. Because most of this deck is dark, um... Like outside of the Pendulum Luna Lights, I think they're all dark. Thunder King and the Pendulum Luna Lights. I may add a BLS, but like Pendulums don't go to the grave, so I doubt that'll ever come up. Spells. 
Tinkies. Search your deck. You're running like 13 monsters. You need to get to a monster quickly. Um, it's it's anti-meta. You gotta push damage. You gotta put pressure. You gotta get your floaters. You gotta get your engine going. So Tinkies gonna do all of that. To get tanky, to get whatever you need, to get more defense, uh, you gotta get power duality. I was testing Card of Demise in here. I put like one or two in, and it was like, eh. Um, like, I think it's better to have it in. Uh, play less monsters and have it in, but I don't want to spend uh, that much money for a third one, so I'm just not right now. Two MSTs. Uh, you can't play Twin Twister because you got to keep a hand. I mean, you got you usually have no hand actually. The polymerization. I couldn't find the fusion substitute because that's actually better. But um, polymerization, it, it's how you uh, recycle with the uh, um, with the black sheep. It's the only way you have to use it for fusion summon. And Rajiki. Um, Card's so balanced, like, you can clear a field and attack for game, it's so, like, bad. You can just win duels and win matches off this, you can win tournaments with this, it. so bad, like, you should put it to three. Now, that's not a lot of spells, and that's not a lot of monsters, but there's a lot of some in here. A lot of traps. Three Storming Mirror Force. This is actually just, like... I feel like a fucking loser for playing this many traps, but, like, I've tried the original Fusion version, and it's just not. Like, I can't, I can't handle decks that neg themselves to try to OTK. Like, I'm okay with OTKs, but keep card advantage. Don't spend it like Luna Lights and Chaos Dragons do. Like, if you can't do that, then maybe you should try a different strategy, and that's why I made this deck. Two Blackhorn, because I don't have a... A fucking uh, solemn strike, but uh, this has actually been coming out because of that stupid ass Yang Zing deck. So like, Black Horn, their Bixia, and it really just ends their turn. Um, I tried Grand Horn too, and it was pretty terrible. Like against Pendulums, I'll probably s switch it around. Depends uh, how it keeps testing. That's pretty much it. Um, two Quaking, a little more superior to Storming. But Storming allows you to get uh, some damage in. When Quaking really doesn't, you have to fight through all the sets. While uh, Storming, you can just push for more damage. Compulse. Uh, I don't have Tiger King in the extra deck, but you play like two, sometimes three of it. Because like you make that like... You like make that like a cake. Like you just make it, and then make it, and then make it, and... Get it over and over and over and over again. And uh, Digusto Emerald's another thing I've been wanting to add. Like, I've been playing so many Synchro and Anti-Meta decks, I haven't even been buying Extra Deck, like Rank 4s or whatever. So my Extra Deck is actually just, like, 30% complete. It's terrible, but, um... It's kind of, like, this is more of the concept of the deck. This isn't the complete deck. I just want to show you this strategy I came up with a while ago, and I've had way more success with this than I've had um, uh, regular Lunar Lights. Bottomless. Uh, Re Reincarnation Dance. Uh, two might be better. I put it down to one, but I think two is just going to be better. Uh, because uh, you... You let your floater die, it floats, and you get two cards, so you went plus one. Like, if they were Gekir set, first off, they're a bad player, but then you go, like, plus... Th then you go plus two, because they were Gekir, your blue cat, and that's insane. And... Torrential, you're running floaters. Solemn warning, because it's broken, and I don't have strikes. And he's because it's broken. I don't even have a Master Key Beetle. How did I manage that? But you're going to Master Key because the main XC engine is uh, the Blue Cats, which are dark. So, uh, just so you met how much of a fucking loser I am. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
9, 10, 11, 14, 17. Like, this shows how good I am at Yu-Gi-Oh! All this good skills. So, I'm almost going to completely ignore the extract, but there is, like, you're going to need Dire Wolf, Master Key Beetle, and uh, Tiger King, but you're also going to need a few fusions, two of this and one of the Panthers. Those are the only ones you need because Leo is too expensive and it's too hard to bring out, but otherwise... You want to play two of this, I only have one, and I don't even have a Panther, Panther Dancer, because who cares about this deck? Um, but, like, few things you can run are, like, Cowboy, because this is anti-meta, and you do need to push for damage a lot. Um, Castell, Dweller, uh, there's nothing in your extra deck that you need besides those things, so you usually have room for this. And that's pretty much it. That's how, that's that's the intensity of how complete this extra deck is. Like, I have synchros in here. It's so bad. Um, and maybe if you're feeling ballsy, you can add this if you want to. Um, like, because they are dark. Uh, but that's going to be it. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, I, I made up this deck a while ago for Alexis... Um, because I wanted to try the deck, I didn't like it, I'm like, hey, I'm going to work on a different version of this, see how well it could come out. That was a while ago, and this it still is impressive. I actually uh, won a very intense game between Demise, Luna Lights, and uh, Demise Cosmo, and I just won it. But uh, it was a tough game, and it was a really good game. Because it was a really fought game, it was really back and forth, and I love games like that. I don't like... Break my field and I lose, or don't break my field and I win. I don't like those kind of game states that you use heading towards. But that's going to be it. Uh, thank you all for watching. And remember, Master Dinner Flex will take your soul.